In national news, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Amman yesterday on a visit to hold talks with His Majesty King Abdullah bin Al Hussein of Jordan regarding the brotherly relations linking the two countries and peoples, as well as recent regional issues. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Jordanian monarch and senior officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting yesterday with King Abdullah ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. His Majesty congratulated the monarch on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of his assuming his constitutional powers and praised the country's development and stability under King Abdullah's leadership and hailed the unity and loyalty of the Jordanian people. Their Majesties discussed ways to enhance bilateral cooperation and economic integration and regional and international issues. His Majesty thanked King Abdullah II for the warm reception and hospitality and praised the vital role of Jordan in spreading peace and defending Arab and Islamic issues, especially the Palestinian cause. King Abdullah praised the efforts of Bahrain in organizing the upcoming Arab summit and both leaders expressed confidence in the success of that summit and affirmed the importance of holding Arab summits regularly. Their Majesties discussed the political and security situation in the Middle East and affirmed the need for the international community and especially the Security Council to implement decisions regarding reaching an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. They stressed the need to protect civilians, ensuring the safe delivery of humanitarian aid and de-escalate the situation and rejected expanding the war and attacks on Rafah or the displacement of Palestinians. Both sides affirmed the importance of respecting the legal and historical status of Al-Quds and putting a stop to Israeli attacks on religious sites. They also condemned the Israeli occupation in Palestine for it being a violation of international law. They called on coordinating Arab and international efforts to achieve a just and comprehensive peace in the region and supporting the Palestinian people in establishing their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital in accordance with a two-state solution. His Majesty the King affirmed the importance of the Hashemite custodianship over the Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. He praised the continuous diplomatic efforts of Jordan, led by His Majesty King Abdullah in supporting the Palestinian cause and facilitating the delivery of aid to Gaza, in addition to its humanitarian programs to support the Palestinian people. He also praised the cooperative efforts of Jordan with the Royal Humanitarian Foundation in providing aid to Palestinians and Syrian refugees. Both sides affirmed the need to reduce tensions in the Middle East and avoiding military escalation as well as the necessity of Arab and international cooperation in reaching comprehensive, peaceful and just solution for the conflicts in the region and coordinating efforts in combating terrorism and its financing. They affirmed their commitment for continuous coordination for the benefit of both countries and their peoples and supporting joint Arab action in facing foreign interference and security threats. They also affirmed the importance of Arab and international partnerships in enhancing security, peace, coexistence and regional cooperation to sustainable development and guaranteeing the safety of all.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday attended a luncheon banquet held by His Majesty King Abdullah ibn Al Hussein of Jordan in honor of His Majesty the King. The banquet was attended by senior officials and His Majesty's accompanying delegation. His Majesty the King departed Jordan yesterday and was bid farewell by the Jordanian monarch and senior officials. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to the Jordanian monarch, expressing thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome and hospitality, which reflect the bilateral historic brotherly ties. He praised the outcomes of the meeting that aimed to enhance bilateral cooperation and discussing the upcoming Arab summit in its 33rd edition to be hosted by Bahrain, as well as discussing regional issues and supporting Arab and international efforts to enhance peace, security and stability in the region, in addition to avoiding escalation and supporting efforts aimed at reaching a ceasefire in Gaza and defending the legitimate rights of Palestinians in order to establish their independent state. His Majesty also praised the efforts of the Jordanian monarch in enhancing peace in the region and his efforts in facilitating humanitarian aid to Palestine, as well as his firm stance in defending Arab and Islamic issues and enhancing joint Arab action. He wished the Jordanian monarch good health and happiness and for Jordan progress and prosperity. The Bahraini-Jordanian relations are distinguished by their long history and their closeness and stability as a result of the vision of the two countries' leadership and their continuous cooperation. More in this report. The strong and deep-rooted fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan derive their strength from the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Jordanian monarch His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein for the brotherly relations to grow deeper with the keenness of the two leaderships to exert their utmost efforts to bolster cooperation. The distinguished relations between the leaderships of the two brotherly countries played a prominent role, which was reflected in the bonds between the two brotherly peoples, providing a model for relations and an example to be emulated. The mutual visits between Bahrain and Jordan strengthened and affirmed the deep-rooted historical relations and the distinguished level that these relations have reached as a result of their continuous cooperation, which was embodied through joint cooperation agreements, investment projects, and exchange of expertise in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday arrived in Cairo on a visit to Egypt to hold talks with President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the country's deep rooted brotherly relations and regional developments. At the forefront to receive His Majesty the King was the Egyptian President, senior officials, Bahrain's ambassador to Egypt, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, and members of Bahrain's embassy.
at Al Itahadiya Palace, an official reception ceremony was held for His Majesty the King, and 21 shots were fired in salute to His Majesty the King. The Royal Bahraini and Egyptian Republican anthems were played. His Majesty the King then greeted senior Egyptian officials and President Assisi greeted the delegation accompanying His Majesty. The delegation of honour was formed under the chairmanship of the Minister of Housing, Utilities and Urban Communities of Egypt, Dr. Asim Al-Jazar.
His Majesty the King held official talks with the Egyptian president at the Republican Palace in Cairo, where His Majesty expressed appreciation for the warm welcome and hospitality. He congratulated the president on the occasion of assuming a new presidential term, wishing him success in leading Egypt towards prosperity and peace, expressing Bahrain's pride in its historic fraternal relations with Egypt based on mutual respect, unity of purpose and destiny. The Egyptian president welcomed His Majesty the King and the delegation, stressing the importance of the visit in strengthening bilateral relations. The two sides praised the advanced level of cooperation between their countries, expressing their joint commitment to achieve further political, economic and security cooperation, and stressing the importance of continuing dialogue and coordination to confront regional challenges for the interest of the peoples of the region. They also wished for the success of the Arab Summit, which will be hosted by Bahrain on May 16th, to enhance Arab solidarity, peace, security and stability in the region. His Majesty the King praised Egypt's historic role in advancing its people and preserving their security under the leadership of President Assisi, stressing Egypt's important position as a decisive strategic asset for the security of the Arabian Gulf and its constructive initiatives in leading peace efforts in the Middle East. And in turn, President Assisi praised Bahrain's steadfast support for Egypt's security and progress under the directives of His Majesty the King. He expressed confidence in the success of Bahrain's leadership of the upcoming Arab Summit. Both sides stressed the importance of maintaining unity on regional and international issues in a way that serves Arab national security and peace. They stress the need to find diplomatic solutions for conflicts and the urgent need to address the tragic situation in Gaza, ensure safe access to humanitarian aid and reject any plans for further violence or displacement. They also affirmed their commitment to working together and supporting Arab peace and security. They called on the UN Security Council to act decisively in addressing regional conflicts, including implementing ceasefire resolutions in Gaza and delivering humanitarian aid. They stressed the need for a political path towards a just and lasting peace in the region based on a two-state solution and the acceptance of Palestine as a full member of the United Nations. The two sides called for preventing escalation in the Middle East and stressed the importance of creating a positive climate for security, stability and prosperity for the region. They stressed the need for cooperation to protect international navigation in the Gol Arabian Gulf and the Red Sea and to support the rights of Egypt and Sudan in the waters of the Nile River. They reiterated the commitment to strengthen bilateral cooperation, intensify diplomatic efforts, work to find peaceful solutions to conflicts, continue efforts to combat terrorism, reject extremism and enhance the solidarity of Arab countries with the aim of achieving stability and prosperity for all in the region.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi yesterday held a press conference following their official talks. At the start of the press conference, President Al Sisi welcomed His Majesty the King to Egypt on the visit that comes within the framework of fraternal and distinguished relations that bind the two countries and peoples. He stated that the meeting comes at a very critical time as a result of the Israeli war on the Gaza Strip and the continuous loss of innocent civilian lives. He also said it is a defining moment that witnesses the continuous use of military force to terrorize and starve civilians and to punish them collectively to force them into displacement with the international community watching helplessly and the absence of any international capacity or will to achieve justice or enforce the international law, the international humanitarian law or the simplest concepts of humanity. President Assisi said that he discussed with His Majesty the efforts of their countries and the joint Arab efforts to address the situation and put an end to it, and most importantly, to prevent its recurrence by working to unify the international will to implement an immediate and sustainable ceasefire in the Gaza Strip and to stop all attempts at forced displacement or starvation and collective punishment of the Palestinian people and ensure the full, sustainable and adequate access to humanitarian aid to the Strip with serious and immediate engagement in the path to reach a just and sustainable political solution to the Palestinian cause on the basis of the two-state solution and the implementation of a Palestinian state on the borders of June 4th of 1967 with East Jerusalem as its capital and its international recognition and full membership in the UN. He also said that Egypt has warned of the direct political security and humanitarian consequences of this war on the people of Palestine and that it will lead to the expansion of the conflict and calls for escalation and revenge leading to region or the region rather to a cycle of violence and counter violence. He said that over the past few months the region has witnessed severe consequences of the continuation of the war which places the security, stability and future of the people under a serious threat. Al-Sisi said that he discussed with His Majesty these troubling regional developments and the scenarios for dealing with them within the framework of the agreement on the necessity of maintaining the security and stability of the region and its peoples against threats within the framework of the priority of common Arab security. He also said that they have agreed on the need to immediately intensify efforts to stop the escalation, whether in the Palestinian territories or at regional level, and to work to push the parties to adopt a rationality and diplomatic solutions, abandon military solutions and perceptions of dominance, influence and hegemony, and allow efforts aimed at peace to succeed and provide an alternative path for the peoples and countries of the region. He renewed his welcome to His Majesty the King, looking forward to further close cooperation between the two countries in a way that achieves the interests of the two brotherly peoples and the Arab nations, wishing His Majesty and Bahrain further prosperity. أمام ما نشهده اليوم من وضع إقليمي بالغ التوتر والخطورة يضع أمن واستقرار ومستقبل شعوبنا موضع تهديد حقيقي وجاد لقد نقشت مع شقيق جلالة الملك البحرين تفصيلا هذه التطورات الإقليمية المقلقة وتصورات التعامل معها في إطار اتفاقنا معا على ضرورة الحفاظ على أمن واستقرار المنطقة وشعوبها ضد مختلف المهددات وعدم ترك مسائرها لإرادة دعاة الحروب في إطار أولوية الأمن العربي المشترك الذي نعتبره كل لا يتجزأ وقد اتفقنا على ضرورة التكسيف والتشجيع الفوري لجهود إيقاف التصعيد سواء في الأراضي الفلسطينية أو على المستوى الإقليمي والعمل على رفع الأطراف إلى إنتاج العقلانية والحلول الدبلوماسية والتخلي عن الحلول العسكرية وتصورات الغلبة والنفوذ والهيمنة والسماح للجهود المخلصة الهادفة للسلام بالنجاح فتح مسار بديل لشعوب ودول المنطقة يحمل أملاً بمستقبل 
توحد فيه الشعوب ودول المنطقة جهودها من أجل الرخاء والتنمية أخي صاحب الجلالة مرة أخرى أجدد ترحيبي بكم وأتطلع إلى المزيد من التعاون الوثيق بين بلدينا بما يحقق مصالح شعبينا الشقيقين وأمتنا العربية متمنيا لكم ولمملكة البحرين الشقيقة كل الخير والازدهار شكرا لكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فخامة الأخ العزيز الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي رئيس جمهورية مصر العربية الشقيقة الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إنه لمن دواعي المحبة والتقدير أن نقوم بهذه الزيارة لجمهورية مصر العربية الشقيقة التي تشعرنا على الدوام وبما نشهده من حفاوة وترحاب بأننا بين أهلنا وعزوتنا فمصر العروبة الحاضرة في الذاكرة والوجدان بأنها مهد الأمن والأمان وموطن الخير والاستقرار والتي تفردت بالذكر الصريح في محكم التنزيل ستظل وكما عرفناها خير السند ونعم العون للجميع ويطيب لنا بهذه المناسبة أن نعرب عن ارتياحنا الكبير بما تناولت جلسة المباحثات المشتركة التي جمعتنا بأخي الكريم وقامة الرئيس حيث تمت مناقشة عدد من القضايا ذات الأولوية والأهمية لتعزيز العمل العربي المشترك وخصوصا ما تعلق بضرورة تنفيذ قرارات وقف إطلاق النار في قزة وتوصيل المساعدات الإنسانية والحاجة إلى مسار سياسي نحو سلام عادل ودائم في المنطقة على أساس حل الدولتين وقبول فلسطين كعضو كامل العضوية في الأمم المتحدة لينال الشعب الفلسطيني الشقيق حقوقه المشروعة كما تم بحث جدول أعمال القمة العربية الثالثة والثلاثين التي سوف تستضيفها مملكة البحرين في شهر مايو المقبل وضرورة التوصل وبصورة عاجلة إلى سياسة واضحة لوقف التصعيد في منطقة الشرق الأوسط وضمان السلام والأمن والاستقرار الإقليمي وأننا على ثقة تامة بأن نتائج مباحثاتنا المثمرة بما تميزت به من عزم صادق لدعم الجهود الجماعية لتحقيق السلام العادل والشامل في المنطقة ستجد طريقها بإذن الله تعالى نحو التنفيذ الذي آن أوانا كي تنال أجيالنا القادمة حقها من العيش الكريم والحياة الآمنة ولا يسعنا هنا إلا أن نجدد دعم مملكة البحرين لجهود مصر الشقيقة ومواقفها الثابتة ودورها التاريخي المستمر من أجل نشر السلام ودعم الاستقرار الإقليمي والعالمي وهو أمر ليس بغريب ولا بمستغرب على مصر العزيزة التي سجل تاريخها القديم أول معاهدة سلام مكتوبة عرفها العالم بين القائد رمسيس الثاني والمملكة الحثية في العام 1258 قبل الميلاد وتضمنت بنودا قانونية وعسكرية لسلام دائم بين المملكتين ومسجل اليوم في هيئة الأمم وفي الختام نكرر شكرنا وتقديرنا لكرم الضيافة وطيب الوفادة واعتزازنا بفرصة هذا اللقاء الأخوي المهم بنتائجها الطيبة التي سيكون لها أعظم الأثر 
على مسيرة العمل العربي وعلاقاتنا الأخوية الوطيدة وتنمية مصالحنا المشتركة لخير ورفعة شعبينا الشقيقين وأنها لمسيرة مباركة نحرص على رعايتها ودعمها يدا بيد مع القيادة المصرية الشقيقة وحكومتها الرشيدة وشعبها الشقيق وكافة مؤسساتها العريقة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In honor of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the President of Egypt, Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, yesterday held a dinner banquet in the occasion of His Majesty's visit to Egypt. The banquet was attended by members of the official delegation accompanying His Majesty the King and a number of senior Egyptian officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi are keen to strengthen the bilateral relations in all fields based on the historic ties between the two countries. More in this report. Of two ancient civilizations are deep rooted in history, and the history of two brotherly countries and peoples have established many positions over time and each country was keen to support the security and interest of the other country based on the reality of relations and the common destiny of the Arab world. The Bahraini-Egyptian relations are characterized by their strength and solidity and have been strengthened and grown under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi based on the pivotal role of the two brotherly countries in the region. Bahraini-Egyptian relations move to broader horizons to prove the strength of these relations. Through communication and integration, Egypt gained a distinguished position with His Majesty the King, the Kingdom of Bahrain, the government and the people, as Bahrain preserves the strength of these relations in various fields, and His Majesty the King expressed pride in these relations in multiple speeches, meetings and forums. Politically, militarily, economically and socially, the two countries always stand with each other with firm stances. The close historical relations that bring together the Kingdom of Bahrain and Egypt are based on awareness and common understanding of the nature of the regional and international changes that the region has witnessed and is still witnessing, and the importance of dealing with them with consistent and integrated policies and positions. The Bahraini Egyptian visions and aspirations converged in many fields and positions, making these positions historically rooted and being a living example of a relationship between two brotherly leaderships and peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Syrian President Bashar al Assad on his country's evacuation day. His Majesty wished the President good health and to the people of Syria further progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the strong Bahraini Syrian relations, affirming the keenness to strengthen ties in various fields. Meanwhile, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Syrian President Bashar al Assad on the occasion of Syria's evacuation day. He also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Syria, Hussein Arnous. The Representative's Council Speaker Ahmed Al Musallam affirmed that the royal vision of His Majesty the King in supporting joint Arab action constitutes a roadmap for cooperation, security, peace, development, and the future of the region. He praised the results of the official visits and meetings held by His Majesty the King with the Jordanian monarch and the President of Egypt. He noted that the approach affirms His Majesty's keenness to support bilateral cooperation and enhance joint Arab action. He stressed full parliamentary support to achieve further economic cooperation and integration, coordinating positions on regional and international issues, and supporting Arab and Islamic issues, especially the Palestinian cause. He added that His Majesty's diplomatic policy and the coordination with the leaders of Arab countries lay the foundations of the success of the next Arab summit to be hosted by Bahrain. 
Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh praised the outcomes of His Majesty the King's meeting with the Jordanian monarch and the official talks between His Majesty and the President of Egypt, praising the efforts led by His Majesty to spread peace and promote Arab and regional security and stability. He expressed pride in His Majesty's approach and royal visions, which affirm Bahrain's support of the stability of the political and security situation in the Middle East. Mr. Al Saleh said that the meetings held by His Majesty the King, the Jordanian monarch and the Egyptian president reflect the close relations and ties between their countries. He noted that the legislative authority is keen to consolidate the role of Bahraini parliamentary diplomacy in building strong relations with the parliaments of brotherly and friendly countries. <coughs> His Highness Staff Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the UK Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Alistair Long, and the Deputy Commander of the Combined Maritime Forces, UK Royal Navy Commodore Mark Anderson, CBE, at Rafah Palace. His Highness noted that relations between Bahrain and the UK continue to advance thanks to the support of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He highlighted the historic Bahraini-UK relationship based on cooperation and strategic partnership, notably in military and defence, affirming the importance of furthering the relations to meet mutual aspirations. His Highness affirmed the UK's prominent role and efforts alongside allies con allied countries in safeguarding security and stability in the region and internationally. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, or BRIEF, in cooperation with Arabian Horse Organization AHO, is organizing the sixth edition of the A. HO Breeders' Championship at the Military Sports Union in the Rashad Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in Rafah. On the occasion of the President of Brief, His Highness uh, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa expressed pride in His Highness Sheikh Nasser's patronage of the championship, affirming that it reflects his keenness on supporting the Federation's activities to preserve horse sports. He hailed the role of AHO, chaired by His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in preserving Arabian horses as traditional heritage, noting the organization's efforts that resulted in enhancing the status of Arabian horses globally. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah affirmed Brief's keenness on protecting Arabian horses, which are considered an integral part of authentic national and Arab heritage. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy of Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, participated in the 9th UN Our Ocean Conference hosted in Athens in Greece. Representatives of countries, regional and international organizations, as well as those of the private sector and the non-governmental organizations, attended the conference themed Our Ocean, an Ocean of Potential. Dr. Ben Dana underlined the Kingdom's keenness to enhance international cooperation in protecting and preserving the marine environment and oceans by benefiting from them in a sustainable way and adopting international initiatives related to them. The conference focuses on marine protected areas, sustainable blue economy, climate ocean nexus, maritime security, sustainable fisheries and marine pollution. The conference also featured plenary sessions that shed light on maritime security, ways to deal with illicit trade in goods and people. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser Hamidan, participated in the ministerial roundtable held under the title Infrastructure for Energy Transition as part of the agenda of the 14th General Assembly of the International Renewable Energy Agency held in Abu Dhabi. The minister affirmed that Bahrain is working to implement initiatives that reduce carbon emissions and adapt to climate change, as well as promote the green economy and create more opportunities to achieve sustainability in the green field, energy field. 
He praised the effort of the UAE in hosting international meetings that achieve sustainable development goals. He explained that Bahrain seeks to be a center for developing energy technologies with the aim of preserving the environment, sustaining its resources and promoting national economic growth. Well, in implementation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister's order, Bahrain's governorates carried out inspection tours to assess the cases affected by the heavy rainfall in the kingdom. In light of the keenness of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to follow up on the affected areas and identify the needs of citizens, the governors paid an inspection visit to areas to assess the damage to homes and address them with the concerned authorities to provide them with the best services. The governors praised the role of the Ministry of Interior's directorates and the concerned civil efforts aimed at the safety of citizens and residents. And in light of the royal pardon of a large number of convicts for riot and criminal cases and in implementation of the directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister during the cabinet meeting to the Interior and Labour Ministries to coordinate to provide the pardoned with unemployment insurance, the two ministries and the Information and E-Government Authority held a joint press conference to review the plan to rehabilitate and employ the pardoned. The Ministry of Interior and IGA explained the required executive measures to submit documents and update ID cards information to facilitate receiving services. The two ministries called on the pardon to update their information through Bahrain's national portal website. Bahrain International Airport has been awarded the best airport staff in the Middle East 2024 from Skytrax for the second year in a row at the 2024 World Airport Awards, the most prestigious accolades for the airport industry. Gulf Air Group Chairman Zayed Al Zayani and Bahrain Airport Company CEO Mohammed Al Ben Falah received the award at the ceremony held at the 2024 Passenger Terminal Expo in Frankfurt, Germany. Al Zayed and Al Ben Falah also received the latest five star airport rating, which was awarded to the airport for the third consecutive time in recognition of its dedication to optimizing performance and attaining the highest level of its operational excellence. The World Airport Awards are the most prestigious accolades for the airport industry, voted by customers in the largest annual global airport customer satisfaction survey.